guys, it's Sue here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, guys, I'm gonna be reviewing some of these popular mists. Y'all know I'm such a huge avid fan of mist. I love using mist. As a matter of fact, they're the one of the top categories which I empty out the most. I am just going ham on them all day. I'm spraying left and right, and they just make me feel so fancy, fancy. So today I'm going to be reviewing four very popular, very in mists right now, and I'm gonna give you guys my really honest review, as you guys will see later soon. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Ooh, I aced that intro. Most of the times I have to do my intro like four or five times to really nail it But today one go one take. Yes, girl First mist I have here is this beautiful Taiba first spray serum as y'all know actually I love using this one. I have so many empties So many of them opened up and so many backups. It's kind of ridiculous. I recently was able to where is that one? So in the other room where I edit, I managed to finish up a beautiful one of these, one of the beautiful Taiba mist that had my name ingrained on it. So I don't know, it felt a little more special. But anyways, so if you're my sub, you already know I am obsessed with this mist. This is truly one of the mists that makes me feel feel like I become that girl, you know, that girl who works out in the morning in a really sexy, you know, workout outfit in a sports bra with a high hope ponytail, drinks her smoothie and gets to work on time. It makes me feel like I become that girl for the mere 10 seconds I use this. And I think it's because Taliba did such a great job in marketing this mist as that mist that's got that oomph to it, right? It definitely, it even looks special, right? It even looks pretty with the golden top and with the golden letterings and it's got that nice golden layer of oil in it, which I love. It's honestly, it's because of that oil layer that I'm able to use this so well. This is basically a mist that will not only hydrate your skin very well, but it will leave you that awesome glow afterwards. And as a matter of fact, I've heard that so many makeup artists are into this. They use this a lot on their clients and for a very good reason. You can use this as a first step of your skincare or as the last step of your whole makeup routine to really top it off and, you know, set it nicely and give that extra glow. And one of the things I truly, truly adore about this mist is that because it has that layer of oil, like I told you, which consists of avocado oil and sunflower seed oil, this does not make my skin dry. Oh lord. I have somewhat of a dry combo, dehydrated and sweaty skin. I know that's not really a typical category, but I have to include it because I sweat so much so that my forehead sometimes get really oily. So during the winter times, if I go in with the wrong mist, it dries the heck out of my skin and I'm not okay with that, okay? Because I I truly use mist in a way where it serves a very convenient purpose, meaning that I get lazy, so <laughs> whenever my skin's feeling a little dry but I don't wanna go through the whole skincare routine, I just plop this on and spray it all over my skin. So I need my mist to be hydrating AF. And this is one of the mists that does an excellent job. You guys know I've used this for ages, seriously. Also, another thing that I immensely appreciate about this serum is that it does not contain alcohol, which I know, you know, so I'm, I'm not too, I'm not totally against alcohol. I think it can sometimes act as a great solvent, but sometimes I've noticed that it stings my eyes and I'll get to it later. But this one doesn't, doesn't contain alcohol. Instead, it contains, it does contain niacinamide, which we love. And it also contains dip, oh crap, hang on. Dipropylene glycol. It's great emollient to moisturize your skin. And it's second on the list. So I do appreciate that. The nozzle on the Smith is very, it's high quality. You can tell it's not cheap. Like they invest it. Cause sometimes, you can tell when brands didn't spend money on their mist. And I think the nozzle is such an important part when it comes to mist because with mist, it's all about the experience that you get. This is a really good steady one and it just blasts in a subtle way the mist onto your face. Oh, and it does carry a scent. It's a very gentle, subtle, sweet, but refreshing scent. It's very subtle though and it kind of disappears immediately. It doesn't linger on. Yeah, it's gone by now, so it's not invasive, which I do appreciate. I think this totally lives up to the hype. It's actually a really, really good solid mist, so definitely check this out. All right, guys, moving on to the next mist, and this is actually one of the reasons that really drove and motivated me to make this uh, video, because I was just like, why is this 
product so popular globally. I just could not fathom it, so I want to talk about it and I want to hear what you guys think. Here I have the Aven Thermal Spring Water. So this is such a famous, popular product that I'm sure you've heard of. I mean, even if you're not into skincare, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Aven. Basically a hydrating mist and the single, it only has one single ingredient in the ingredient list, which is the hot spring water, or not hot, sorry. It's just spring water from Southern France and it's supposed to contain calcium, magnesium, minerals, you know, all of that good stuff coming from that spring water. I really am a fan of the whole story behind it and the marketing behind it. I think it's very captivating and I'm definitely alert to using it. But once I did, this dried the heck out of my skin. I was so confused and dumbfounded. I was like, I thought you were supposed to be a good product. Like, what's going on? And it turns out, I was looking at reviews because I was just like, what's going on? Uh, it turns out this mist is not necessarily to hydrate or moisturize your skin. I don't know what it's for. No, I'm kidding. It's actually to soothe your skin. So if you have exceptionally inflamed red skin, this is going to help soothe it, but it's not exactly a moisturizing mist per se. Oh, and we have sun here. Oh, hello. You're very bright. And I just come to the conclusion, it all comes down to how you use your mist. Like, what is your goal with these mists? Because for me, like I said, I can get lazy, and so I need my mists. Oh my gosh. Oh, a leaf flew by and I thought it was a huge insect. Anyways, I like to moisturize my skin with them. I just like to spray it on in the hopes that it will just get the job done. This one is not for that. This is basically a mist to just spray on before you start your skincare or your makeup or between skincare steps. Or I found that it actually makes an excellent mist to wake up to. Like the nozzle is, it feels like a fire hose, like a water fire hose. What? Water hose that the fire departments use. It's so powerful. Am I supposed to shake this? I always get confused. It's like, can you guys hear that? And because this is basically just spring water, like fancy water, after I spray this on, like my skin doesn't feel totally different. It just feels like, okay, I sprayed my face with water. That's exactly how it feels like. These mists, I feel like I would get the most usage out of them during the summer times. So just imagine, just picture this. You're like sweating in hot summer and you have to wake up, you feel groggy and it's oh, everything's so hot. You pull this out and you just fire away. How amazing does that sound? So, so I definitely keep this till summer and I'm gonna try it out then. But for winter or if you have dry skin or you're looking for something to moisturize your skin, I would definitely say check out the other recommendations. And as you guys know, Event is from the French pharmacy, right? And I do definitely get the appeal why so many people there in Europe would use this because as you guys know, in Europe, they, the tap water, the quality of the water that they have is like lime water and it's not so good quality like we have in Korea. So they definitely would need something to wipe their skin and do a little bit of toning before they start with their skincare to, you know, balance out the pH level and whatnot. So I definitely do get the appeal why so many people there would use it, but I just think that's not really necessary in Korea because like we don't have lime water for, we. I don't know what type of water, but it's good water. Well, it's not good water, but you know what I'm saying. So in conclusion, you know, this is obviously just like fancy, expensive French water in a bottle. <laughs> it doesn't have any extra benefits I've noticed, but it is suitable for all skin types and it is big and I love the spraying power. So there are a couple of pluses, but this isn't one that I recommend right off the bat for the winter. Okay, moving on. Here I have the Godali Beauty Elixir. This is very fancy schmancy. Um, it's so fancy that they didn't even name their product mist. It's called the Beauty Elixir. So. Or is it elixir? Elixir, elixir. It's definitely a bougie one. The cost definitely showed it. It retails around like 60,000 won in Korea. Uh, that's expensive. Aside from the price, I actually really did enjoy using this. This also has a layer of oil in it. So it has rosemary oil, peppermint oil, which you can definitely smell. I think the most prominent trait of this Godali mist is its scent. And I think sometimes this fragrance or scents can really elevate the experience that you have with skincare or it can really take it down. Luckily and fortunately, 
I love this scent. It, because of the peppermint, it feels so refreshing, but it still feels really bougie, you know? So once you spray this on, of course, because of the oil layer, you have to mix it. It feels like I've just brushed my teeth with a fancy ass French peppermint toothpaste. It feels very refreshing. And the nozzle on it is really good as well. It is made out of plastic, but like the pressure is pretty stiff. So I feel like with the cheap ones, there's no pressure at all. It's not stiff at all. It just goes down like this. And it has a really nice luxurious spa-ish kind of spritz to it, which I love. Now the only downside, well, there are a couple of downsides. The second downside, the first being the price, the second downside is that it does have alcohol in it. And sometimes this stings my eyes. <laughs> Not always, like if I have my contact lens on, it doesn't, I don't feel the alcohol, but like in the morning when I've just woken up, if I spray this on, it sometimes does sting my eyes. So I have to be careful and just keep them shut. And alcohol is actually second on the ingredient list after water, so it's pretty up there. So this is a mist that I actually like to moisturize my skin with because it has that layer of oils in it. And afterwards, it doesn't leave that blinding gleam of glow like the Tide Bamis does, but it's subtle. And I also like to use it for the experience because the scent is just like, oh, it makes me feel like I could speak French any second. It's definitely an investment, but I think it's a fun one to splurge on. I get it when it's on sale though. Like that's why I got it on like 10% sale at Sephora in Korea or something. But anyways, check it out. All right, last but definitely not least, uh, hells no, I have the CMP Laboratory Propolis Energy Apple Mist. This is also another favorite. I actually adore the Propolis line from CMP. I think it's a great, great line. I've actually been using this mist for years, I think. And I just recently got a backup. This is a whopping 250 ml. And the four top ingredients of this mist is water, glycerin. Hang on, I didn't memorize. Water, propandial, glycerin, one to hexandial. And also it has 1% of Propolis extract, which I wish they would increase a bit because propolis extract is an awesome ingredient. It's antimicrobial, which means that it's going to be very effective in tackling and battling your acne. And it's also a great antioxidant that's going to help with well aging. Now, considering this is a mist from the propolis line, it's actually pretty light and it's actually pretty watery, but it's not to a point where it dries your skin out. This is also one that I would moisturize my skin with, but this isn't actually one that I would skin my, uh, start my skincare step with like the Taiba one. This one feels a little watery to do that. So I like to use this, you know, when I'm feeling a little bored and I want to do a little bit of skincare and throughout the day and I just want to go all out and just make sure my skin is well moisturized. Oh mama, the nozzle on this is very sexy. Like the other ones, unlike the other ones, which has a very upbeat kind of spraying power. This one is very subtle. Did you guys hear that? It sounds different. So the nozzle on this makes it feel like you're getting pampered in a spa, very quiet, you know, dim lighting, very expensive. Um, so I really do enjoy the experience of using this and it does have a pretty tacky finish, I'm not gonna lie. And that's what makes it moisturizing. But I'm not complaining, I just like to spray this on. And what was also interesting is that, you know, most of the time skincares cater to a specific skin type. For example, I would definitely recommend this if you have drier skin type. But with this one, people are recommending it to dry skin types and also oily skin types. So I feel like this is one that truly sits in the middle. Like even if you have oily skin, you could still get away with this because it's not too overwhelmingly heavy. And after spraying this mist on, because the water feels so fine, I can't really explain that this mist makes my skin feel like this because it just feels like, it honestly just feels like mist, like li the literal mist, the, the scientific nature phenomenon that you can see in the nature, it kind of feels like that, like you're walking into a mist. Okay, I'm getting confused a bit. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my honest reviews on all of this. Please let me know which mists are your favorites because I love mists with a passion, like Bastion. So I wanna see what mists work greatly for you and I wanna check them out for reals. All right guys, don't forget to like this video and I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!